Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Pro Gamer Manager. This is part 11 of the MOBA Manager Mode, and in the last part, we won Esports League 5 again, this time with a 14-0, by far the best season we've ever had. I guess you can't really have a better season than a 14-0, <clears throat> but uh, was really well done by us. I'm really happy, and then we played another U.S. Open after we had finished uh, the Esports League 5 season. Uh, looking good, we were so pumped, we were just ready to do what we gotta do. Then we hit a U.S. Open and lose 0-3 in the first round. So, uh, words, our player pure just wrecked G's in the finals of a Duels Cup. Sweet. So, uh, yeah, words don't describe, uh... The confusion in my brain I had spoke about it at the end of the last part so if you want to hear my feelings on uh, on the whole kind of way this game does things when it comes to the uh, more open tournaments and major ones uh, feel free to go towards the end of the last video um, if not I'll probably sum it up here in a few seconds. So if you want to hear the original one, pause this video, go back to the last uh, episode, episode 10, uh, towards probably the last like three, three, four minutes of it, um, and you can hear it there. Uh, but just to sum it all up, um, yeah, it's kind of the way that they try and do it is it's so RNG based in those because you just can't see what the overall skill levels of every team is, right? Like, all these teams are just a bunch of random names that they, that the computer generated uh, to play in this bracket tournament for you. And so, because of that, you're just in a spot where, you know, there's no way to really determine how good you have to be or uh, when's not the right time to play and, and all these kinds of things. So all you get to see is, well, I thought we were ready, right? Because we had one tournament where he got second place, you know? And so I anticipated that, all right, we had hit the point at that time where our overall skill level was good enough in order to play in the actual event. And this is turning away from an actual summary and into an actual uh, just explanation of my feelings because, you know, uh, it is a bit frustrating um to kind of have this happen um you know because i get it it's a simulation tycoon style game right so we're gonna go ahead and buy some stuff we got 36 gram we're not gonna buy a b team yet uh let's get a, a player coach because i really want to get the finance director uh up and running uh to help Make us some more money. So he's gonna cost us 900. We want the finance director. The finance director is a big one uh, that we really want uh, To be To be getting in here. So uh, contract negotiations income opportunities decrease costs. So that is Good good good. Oh I thought she was on here at this list. Oh, okay streaming manager is the only one that uh, the next one that we get on the list which is the next one we're gonna go ahead and buy him also just because um, I think we're all right buying them in my opinion. Um, I think we're making enough at the moment in order to uh, compensate it all upgrade your streaming software run daily promotional stream broadcast broadcast team practice so I think daily promotional broadcast is the way to go. Um, let's go ahead and check the uh, the finances real quick. Yep, we are plenty good to go. Uh, we're making ten grand a week at the moment. Uh, our current sponsor is giving us one thousand one hundred and six uh, dollars. We could uh, could contact our sponsor and be like, hey, give us more money. Uh, we could ask for a new contract, which would be. Uh, might be good to, to think about it that way. Who's the next one? Is the next one the sponsor manager? Sponsorship manager. You know, we're going to pick up the sponsorship manager also. Because um, he will help us with uh, finding new con sponsors and uh, those kinds of things. New sponsor deals, uh, income opportunity, better gamer gear. That's uh, definitely down the road to what we're looking for. And we're still making about four grand more 
uh, than we normally would be uh, thinking about. So we could talk to our staff. Uh, we could discuss the organization or staff assignments. Uh, if we go to the organization, uh, nope, not the organization, the tech menu here, uh, we could get official team jerseys with uh, sponsor logos, find sponsorship, partnership for sponsored energy drinks. Well, everybody likes a good energy drink, am I right? Everybody likes a good energy drink. So uh, he's going to find us a little bit of money, increasing the amount of money that our sponsor makes us, which is, uh, that's cool. So kind of going back to uh, what we were talking about earlier, you know, it, I think easiest way to sum this up, right? Because, you know, I could just go around in circles about this all day, all night, just for hours, right? Just to kind of sum it up, it frustrates me a little bit that, yes, I know it's a simulation game, so it's supposed to be RNG-based, and it's supposed to kind of not be skill-based, per se. But when you add skill points into the game, there has to be, a, there has to be, this team is better than this team. That has to be part of it. And that's what they pushed, but I feel like they pushed that for the regular league matches and stopped. They added in these international games, these international tournaments um, for all over the world, um, you know, with bracket stages that aren't in this same type of menu here, but then didn't add in the same kind of determinants that kind of factor into how the actual matches get played, right? And how they get determined, how a win gets determined, and how a loss gets determined. Like right now, the, our team compared to Movement Ponage, right? We were very, very close in our overall skill level, almost, almost identical. I think they only had like, like five or so skill points under us, and you can see that it's a close game. Both teams are are, are have have very similar um, turnouts when it comes to how their team is performing, right? We're struggling towards the end here. We can obviously see. Now, I totally forgot about it and didn't redo the practice because guess what? I think that happens too often where I forget about the practice because I wish that the practice just saved over. <laughs> Which I didn't think about until about right now when we got to go back into the practice and uh, do all this all over again. So we're going to say pick phase, team fighting, lane phase. I think that's good. I'd say that's that's all right. So I think we are uh, one and one at the moment. It's not too too bad for us. Uh, more scouting reports. We don't really care about the scouting reports at the moment. I'm happy with the team we got at the moment. I'm happy with uh, the way that the team has performed as of late. And uh, you know, we started off this season doing well obviously these teams i think are very close to our overall skill level we got crabby united here crabby united that's an excellent name right there that is an amazing name if i have ever heard one crabby united these people either so i don't know if this is kind of like a term in other countries i'm not really sure but i, I know in america it's obviously a term that you know if you're kind of if you're crabby you're kind of like you're like you're not happy you're just like you're you're annoyed and you, and because of that you just like you act like a like a bit of a a, a, a bit a bit of a i'm not gonna try and cuss here i i almost decided a bit of a of a, of a rear end right a bit of a donkey okay i'm gonna slip around him because i like to keep this show um family friendly uh, all the uh, kids of all ages can happily come and listen to this because guess what? I'm gonna watch my voice and not curse in it, but the Total War Warhammer, I don't promise that I won't, uh, say some words that, uh, are not so, uh, fabulous. <laughs> I, I, I won't promise that, uh, I won't say those, say, say some words that otherwise would not be, uh, appropriate for a child. To be listening to but uh, that is besides the point we win another one against Krabby United I'm not gonna get into the Krabby spiel again I don't know just just waffling on here 
just waffling on, enjoying, uh, enjoying a nice, a nice day. Uh, it's been a nice day. The last couple of days been really kind of gloomy and rainy, so it's, uh, it's nice. It's, it's nice to, to enjoy some wet, some nice weather, you know? Kind of gives you a, a, a good feeling, you know? It gives you a good feeling to wake up in the morning, go to work, do all those kinds of things. It, it just... I don't know, it gives you energy that otherwise you really would not have had, right? Because the last couple of days with it being kind of gloomy and rainy and all that kind of stuff, one, I it just, it makes me feel kind of sick, um, which you can probably hear. Um, I got a lot of, like, uh, drainage and whatnot going on, uh, which is mainly due to allergies, uh, which, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that's just one of those things that you have to get through in life uh, and keep going forward. But you know, yeah, it's just been it's it's been some nice weather today. Really made me happy to sit down and record some some PGM. And uh, if you don't know, I, I call it that because when I I use OBS to record. If nobody knows, there you go. Um, and in OBS, it, it gives us the acronym PGM, um, you know, uh, for, for the recording. So I, for some, it just, I thought it was really funny to say because it just, it seemed really like official for a game, in my opinion, that isn't like super official. It's like, you know, it's got kind of like, um, some game dev tycoon-esque grass graphics you know, and it, it's a, it's not so much like, like when I think of something that has an acronym like that, I think of like a League of Legends, a StarCraft 2, a Dota, uh, well Dota not really because Dota is actually the name of the game, so it's like it doesn't really count, but like CSGO, right? Games that, that are broken down, um, into an, into an acronym, um, I think it's called an acronym, right? That's I'm using the right words, right? If I'm not, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys will. I'm sure you guys will be like, "You're an idiot." It's not. That's not what that means. God, get a dictionary already. Why oh, don't you go back to school? Sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's been a minute since I've been to school. Okay. It's been it's been uh, one or two minutes since I uh, since I took an English class, but it's okay. It's all right. Because the team is doing really well right now. They are doing very well. 3-1 and one at the moment, I believe the school, our record is. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. You know, we're moving in the right direction, you know. If we can get into Esports League 3, I think that's about the time when we can start investing in a B team, right? Maybe even before that, if we're looking really good towards the end of the season, the next time we get uh, a pay... If we have enough money, I think it may be an opportunity to try and get a B team together. That way the B team can start kind of moving us in the right direction. Because at this point, if, if you haven't seen the way that the manager mode works in this game, right? You're, the amount of money you make is never really good. It's never going to go down because you gain fans every time. The fans determine how much merch gets, get you, merch, um, money you get paid, which is totally not how real life works, right? Especially with, like, merch and eShop, that is not how the real life works. Obviously, you know, if it goes up from there, that's cool, but you're not, you might have a month where a lot of people buy your merchandise, and there may be another month where no one buys your merchandise. So it's not like it, every single month, it is, it's constantly going up by, by equation based on the number of fans you have that's that's not how real life works but uh it's a game so the game is not real life and i will happily take the way the game uh does it because uh it means we make more money so i'm not complaining what you think i'm complaining no don't say something like that but our team's doing pretty good uh hawkeye currently our top uh rated player at 56 uh, we got, uh, Pure and Foxer in, uh, second and third at 52 each, and then, uh, Kaboosh at 50 and Cuddle Bear at 44, so, team is doing really well, uh, we're kind of really bringing it together like we, like we should be, um, at the moment, I actually think, 
We have enough, right, to even get a B. We could get a B team right now if we really wanted to it, because we got 22,911. I feel like this feels so much smaller than it should be. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I'm looking at it. But currently 4-1, and one, top in Esports League 4. That right there, that's really big for us, uh, kind of turning it around from the... Uh, from the season we had last uh, time we were in Esports League 4, kind of having a really, really tough time, uh, and we're pretty close to getting that practice tour as well. So, I thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. If you have a comment, question, or concern, leave it in the comment section below. Excuse me. And I will see you guys in the next episode.